Hello, I'm Catherine, and you found the Catherine Corner. This is part two of a series on food, so be sure to subscribe and check out my channel to find other food-related videos. I wanted to talk about fall-related treats because right now is October. Now's the time when things are starting to cool down. The weather is getting colder and colder. You have to bring out your sweaters and scarves and hats and gloves and coats and all that fun stuff. So in a place that has seasons, it's important to enjoy them because a lot of people can get really depressed, especially when the weather gets colder. They don't like going outside, which is not the way to spend your days when you live in a place that's cold. Because then that's every day. Like, that's, it's impossible. So I decided to make a little video about different treats and ways to just kind of have fun with the way things are going right now because it's almost Halloween, it's like a fall theme, it's, the leaves are changing, there's a lot of really cool things to do. So I'm gonna start this off. I went to Trader Joe's! Ah! All right. The nice thing about living in the US is you have pumpkin spice everything, especially around this time of year. I got pumpkin spice almond milk, which is insane. We got vanilla almond spice chai. Uh, I think it's a protein drink or something. Yeah, protein smoothie. And it's vegan. I'm not actually vegan, but that's always fun, right? I got a Living in Gratitude Fall Edition kombucha. This is also really fun because it's true, like in the US we celebrate Thanksgiving and it is important to be thankful for what you have. Gratitude is something that makes you feel really good. I got some, I don't, I've actually never seen these cookies before, speculus cookies. They're supposed to be Belgian cookies. Caramelized cinnamon spice Belgian cookies. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Thin crispy cinnamon cookies. Enjoy with a cup of coffee, a glass of milk, or crumbled atop ice cream. I like how they have to give you ideas of how to make it, or how to you know, eat it. All right, and I have a soft spot for chocolate, so I got some 70% with caramel black salt, and this is 72%, so. Two bars of dark chocolate. I never eat anything less than 70% dark chocolate. So I'm going to enjoy a lot of these. A lot of these are drinks and snacks, and I think it's important to, um, especially during this time of year, even though stuff with pumpkin spice gets a lot of bad rap, it is something that really only exists in the US. So it's a truly American way to celebrate the fall season and the time before Halloween. And, I love it because I lived outside the U.S. for a couple of years, so this is like, it feels like, oh yeah, I'm getting back to my American roots, it's so much fun. Um, and then like kombucha is so bougie and chocolate is really delicious and filling and... Another really nice thing about the fall season is the fact that we have Thanksgiving and this is a time when we're getting closer to the end of the year and although it's not quite the end, you still have about two, three months left and it's a really good time to think about what what you like about your life, what you want to change. There's a lot of people do New Year's resolutions and uh, new intentions for the new year and I really enjoy um, like gratitude journaling. Uh, some activities that are really awesome at this time of year are going out apple picking, so farms and it's harvest season. They're, they have all their pumpkins and vegetables ready and they're fresh. And another thing is um, around the time fall starts, like Illinois has amazing corn. Oh my god, the Midwest has like the best corn ever. <laughs> Anywhere that's like north is gonna have really good apples. And, um, squash and it, it kind of forces you when you like get all these uh, vegetables for fairly cheap you want to make those recipes and usually you don't eat those types of foods it's not like people are eating pumpkin stuff in March you know <laughs> people especially around here uh, in the Northeast people love going hiking they go hiking all the freaking time but especially in the fall because the leaves are changing so it looks gorgeous um, Let's see. I think 
the the fall slash winter months are the perfect time to do reading, um, painting, indoor activities like that. Whereas normally in the summer you you kind of want to go outside, you want to be more active. So this is the time to like develop those skills, you know, like those skills that are kind of mental, um, like writing, painting, uh, planning, creativity, whatever, like write that book that you've been wanting to write forever. <laughs> I, th I think it's easier to clean your room and clean out things that you don't need around this time because you're already inside and you're at home. Whereas when it's springtime or summertime, you don't want to be at home. You know, the whole like spring cleaning mentality I think is much better uh, during the fall because you're at home and you're like, well, I want to live in a nice space because I'll be spending a lot of time inside. If it, Because a lot of the time when I'm doing things in the fall and winter, you, you only go outside to go between two places. Like, you're not going to be spending time outside for a long time. You'll be... Um, going outside to take the train to go to someone's house party or you'll be going to some event at a bookstore or uh, some convention like something that's happening over this weekend is like a vegetarian food fest a dance festival um, like a little book fair <laughs> a comic convention there's a lot of stuff going on in Boston this weekend actually but the whole point is all of these things are in inside they're in an enclosed space and that doesn't mean that you're letting the weather stop you from doing things. It just means, you know, you have to bundle up in order to go from one place to the next. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy your fall season in your October and then November and December are coming. So don't worry, they will be here. <laughs> um, I'm going to enjoy my little treats. These are so cute and I'm really happy that I'm able to you know, get them because back when I lived in Moscow I didn't have access to like fall themed almond milk that's pumpkin spice flavored like vanilla almond spice chai protein vegan you know nothing in Russia is vegan typically it's all like milk based or um <laughs> meat based or you know what I mean everything has uh animal products in it somehow right so Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, like it. Subscribe if you want more and follow my Instagram. Goodbye.